Hi, this is Vinay Chopra. Thank you for again joining on my podcast, Apartment Syndication Made Easy. As you know, I wrote that book, which is a top seller in Amazon. Internationally also got a lot of acclaim, you know, reviews and all. And this podcast is about syndication, about commercial investing. I like to bring great guests for you and dig into their story, their successes, and find out some nuggets from them so that you could really enjoy them and learn from them and then implement them. Hi there, guys. This is Vinny Chopra. I know. Thank you so much for your interest in Bitcoin mining. As you know, Bitcoin is going down, down, down. Its peak was 65,000 and now it's about 20,000 or 19,000 or something. It might even go down to 15,000. We don't know. But I've got the biggest expert in America, maybe globally, Eng Tang, my great friend is here, who retired at the age of 29. Hold on. Retired. He doesn't need to work a day in life. You know, I retired when I was 56 or so. I don't need to work a day in my life. But we are really going to talk about Bitcoin mining today. Thank you, Eng. Thank you for joining, brother. Yeah. It's very amazing. Yeah. Thank you. Tell us, you know, to my investors, why Bitcoin is going down, maybe if you don't mind, then also why this is the right time to invest. Um, Yeah, so I think what's happening right now is it's going down because of sort of the reaction right now in in the European markets. Um, That's It's mostly macroeconomic conditions that impact anytime the stock market goes down, you can see Bitcoin goes down as well. The Bitcoin market goes up. Um, the uh, you know Bitcoin will go up. I think of Bitcoin sort of as a very correlative risk on asset right now, mostly because there's not that much liquidity in the market. So once um, you know interest rates stabilize and uh, inflation stabilize, you should see some pretty good upward momentum. Um, the, you know uh, Bitcoin going down. I think there's going to be a very good floor stabilization period around 18k. Uh, of course, it go lower. Um, Again, I'm not a trader. I'm, I don't buy and sell Bitcoin. Um, I would probably do it very poorly if I did. Um, I'm an investor. I like to invest in long-term investments that have mm-hmm. some really good tax advantages, cash flow, and other uh, you know, a really great upside. Sure, sure. So tell us more about now Bitcoining. Our cost is lower because we are buying this special miners in a distress sale. Can you kind of throw that light on that? Yeah. Yeah. So over the past few months, um, I've been um, inundated with really interesting offers, really interesting offers in Bitcoin mining space. Uh, Just to give everybody a little context, we've set and developed five Bitcoin mining funds already that have fundraised close to $85 million and invested. Um, And we mined a significant amount of Bitcoin. there has been some really good opportunities over the past few months, but this one was sort of uh, something that I could not say no to because it presented itself two interesting opportunities. One is to buy Bitcoin miners at a very low reduced price. Mm-hmm. Basically, these miners were purchased earlier this year at around $9,500. Hi. You are listening to Syndication Made Easy Podcast. We will be right back after this short break. Hi, thank you so much. This is Vinny Chopra. And thank you for subscribing to my podcast and uh, YouTube channel and Facebook pages and all the great things. And LinkedIn, connect with me. I come live to you every Friday at 9.30 Pacific with Vinny and Bo show. Please also look at that. And also the podcast, which is my apartment syndication made easy. The book I wrote two, a couple of years back became international top seller uh, on Amazon International now. And then we like to bring great guests for you every week or a, twice a week sometime to give you a lot of great knowledge. So please subscribe. You give us five star reviews on the iTunes. The better the guests we can you know, bring and our ranking will go higher also. Thanks again for uh, following us and 
you're really getting the most out of it, please comment, like, share, because we would love to bring better and better material for you. <laughs> Basically, these miners were purchased earlier this year at around $9,500. Imagine these are computers, very expensive computers that do one thing and one thing very well, which is mine Bitcoin. Mm-hmm. We're buying them for $3,300. So a significant discount. Mm-hmm. Which of course, Bitcoin has gone down. And yes, there are, you can buy miners for around this price, maybe a little bit higher. But that's not really that useful because there's a lot of people who are still Bitcoin mining and want to invest in Bitcoin mining. But the second part of the equation is, can I get these machines plugged in into a reliable electricity network for a low enough cost? Yeah. There's a CapEx component and there's an OpEx component. So we're getting the best of both worlds here. We're getting a CapEx component where we're getting really, really reduced low price of today pricing. Yeah. And we're getting a low price of OPEX because we're grandfathered in to uh, Gem Mining, who runs 32,000 miners himself, um, and they've signed these contracts last year. If you sign any contract for energy last year, you're getting really great pricing. And the way that energy contracts work is that you lock in these rates for foreseeable future three to five to 10 years. And uh, um, essentially what that does is you um, establish yourself as you're going to be the buyer of that energy, regardless of if, if energy price goes up and down. Mm-hmm. So you're locking in, say, predictability for the energy markets and you're getting a really low lock in. It's sort of like getting a 30-year fixed mortgage last year. Of course, yeah. getting it now, you can get pay a little bit more. Right. Yeah. So last year, I think 30-year fixed mortgages were around two and a half to three percent. Now they're around six percent. Mm-hmm. So it's like getting a grandfather in a, a mortgage from last year instead of energy contract from last year, exactly. except that you're not paying the house prices of last year. You're paying yeah. the house prices of this year, meaning yeah. that you're getting the lower cost of Bitcoin mining machines. Yes. And, yes. and one thing I really like about this and the challenge that I've had as a Bitcoin mining industrial miner, essentially, because everything in mining is industrial scale, mm-hmm. is that they're online now. Which means that we don't have to wait the typical three to four months that you would have to wait to buy the miners in China, uh-huh. get them shipped into a container or air freight, ship them overseas, uh-huh. um, clear customs, get logistics, inspect, uh-huh. install, and then have work on the other side, get the data center uh, electrification online. And these yeah. are all things that I'm working on on my other funds. And so um, this fund is sort of the best of both worlds as well as online now. So uh, we're mining Bitcoin. I'd love to share with you guys. Would you please? Yeah, yeah. I was going to ask you that. You know, guys, a lot of you have been asking me, Vinny, please show the backside of it. You know, how you're mining, how many, my, you know, Bitcoins you're mining and all that. So, you know, my partner, uh, Eng, is going to share that with you right now. Yeah, so I'm actually going to share with you guys what I, uh, essentially, miners that we uh, made a deposit for in this yes. deal. Yes. And so these miners are allocated to this fund, which means okay. that they're online now. So if you're if you're investing, you're, you're going to get partic- you can participate in uh, the cash flow from this. Beautiful. Um, Beautiful. And we'll be paying out starting from end of October, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So we're going to be paying in October. So once you invest, we're going to set you up with a, a portal access and everything so we can collect your Bitcoin address or your cash if you want. So yes. this is um, uh, um, one of our polls and we, we're essentially looking at 1,047 miners. Yes. Um, and uh, we're working on um, essentially, what does that look like? They, they look like these little uh, coded things mm-hmm. that generate mm-hmm. a certain amount of hash rate. Hash rate is the is the measure of production for Bitcoin mining. Mm-hmm. Um, and so we've received these since a few days ago, um, once we put the deposit, and you can see that they've been running uh, pretty smoothly for the past yeah. few days. Uh, what does that earn us? That earns us, in this case, um, uh, 0.4 Bitcoin. And so this is for an allotment of 1,000 machines. And of course, we'll have close to 5,000 machines. So essentially think of this as a 5X. And that's mm-hmm. actually uh, every one of these mich- Bitcoin that we receive every day, we receive it in our wallets. Um, and, then, and then after we pay the expenses for...